although that's less of a problem on quick ground. Fantastic Moon and Hookham are also drawn towards the outside of Fancied Runners. So it looks like Hookham and Sim Camille might be the last two. Hookham and Jim Crowley comes forward. That's six year olds in. So Sim Camille to complete the lineup for the 2023 Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. Alexis Pouchan under orders and they are often racing for the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. Free wind was uh, not well away. Westover needs punching along in the early stages as the runners settle down and our camera follows them. And up front, it's Bay Bridge is one of the first to show, is tugged through. Sim Camille's got a good pitch on the outside. And Sim Camille, Alexi Pouchan, Bay Bridge on the inner between those two, Mr. Hollywood. Westover and Feed the Flame just behind. Then towards the outside, Hookham's found a decent pitch. H Impact has been settled towards the back of the field, probably where he wants to be. Onesto and Sisyphan right in the back as Mr. Hollywood now goes to the front. Bürz and Mürzebayev for Mr. Hollywood leads Baybridge in second. Hookham on the near side. Sim Camille, the dark blue behind. Westover on the inner. Feed the flame in the centre. Plastic Hachassel on the outer, the maroon cap. Then the all-white of free wind. Higher Zarks tugging away. Fantastic Moon settles on the outside. Continuous on the inner. Further behind through seven seas. Ace impact. And then finally at the back, we have Onesto and Sisyphan as Mr. Hollywood continues out in front showing by two lengths to Hookham who's got a perfect pitch for Jim Crowley on the outside Baybridge on the inner Sim Camille tracks those in fourth position with Westover towards the inside free winds now going nicely past the carousel and feed the flame next to that one as they begin to swing into the false straight down past the thousand they go and Mr Hollywood continues to show the way Hookham is perfectly positioned, still in second. Baybridge on the inside. Westover follows. Sim Camille towards the outer. Plast Carousel making ground on the outside, followed by Fantastic Moon. Still on a loose rein is Ace Impact. The Japanese horses move right back to through the field into last position as they make the turn into the straight and down to the 500, Mr. Hollywood. Now Hookham is asked to close up on this one. Sim Camille's travelling strongly on the outer. Baybridge goes for a run on the inside. Now Ace Impact is beginning to pick up on the outside, but it's Sim Camille and Westover who's come through to challenge. And Westover over, but here goes Ace Impact down the inside and it's Ace Impact and storming through to take on Westover and Ace Impact is doing everything we hoped Ace Impact has gone to victory what a run from Westover Onesto flew through for third fourth was through seven seas and further behind was continuous what a horse this is Ace Impact and Christian de Muro bounds away for the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe beating into second just we're gonna have to look Westover second Onesto third through seven seas fourth and continuous was fifth and Ace Impact is a remarkable racehorse wow